Hey, I'm Kez Bracey, this is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Properties Tips. In Figma, you can copy all of the properties that an object has, or you can do that with one property at a time. To copy all the properties that an object has, select it, then you can go to Edit, Copy Properties, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-C, then select the new item, go back up to Edit, and choose Paste Properties, or hit Control-Alt-V. So we can see with our original item here, we have this fill color and we have two drop down shadows. And on the new item, we have the same fill and the same drop down shadows. Now, if you just want to copy one property at a time, then you can jump over here into the right panel. You can click just to the left of one of the properties that will select that property. And then you can hit Control C or Command C and then Command V will paste that property onto the selected object. If you want to select a couple of specific properties, click to the left in the panel over here on the right, hold down shift, and then click to the left of the second object as well. Once again, you can just hit Control C or Command C to copy. And then you'll be able to paste those properties onto a new object. You can control how rounded corners are smoothed out by using something that they call squircles. So I've got a rectangle here that currently has a corner radius of 10 pixels. I'm going to jump up here and hit this button here so that the corners are considered independent of each other. Now I can hit these three dots here for corner smoothing. I'll just zoom in so you can see this a bit better. And I can drag this slider, which is going to change exactly how those rounded corners are smoothed out. Text items have the ability to have an underline, italic, or bold property applied to them. And you can use keyboard shortcuts to apply these the same as you would in a word processing program. So control or command U for underline, control I for italic, and control B for bold. You can scrub through values in a settings field by holding down either alt or option, depending on your platform, and then just dragging to the left or right in that field. You can nudge color values to modify them by putting your mouse inside the field for the color that you want to modify. Now I just have the color picker open so that you can see the little dot that represents the color moving and it'll be a bit clearer, but you can do the same thing just in the regular value field here. So hit the up or down arrow and you can see the color changing there. That's with the down arrow or with the up arrow going back in the opposite direction. To nudge faster, hold down shift to go in larger increments. Now where you put your mouse inside this field is going to change what part of the color is being modified with the arrow keys. So you can see here, the last two values of the hex code are selected. And that's because I started with the mouse just to the right of the hex code. If I want to select the entire hex code, you can see that the whole hex code is now being modified so that the way the color is changing is different. I can also select the first two characters in my hex code. Now that will modify them. And I can do the same thing with the third and fourth characters. So there's a five helpful Figma properties tips. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.